Yes, sir. Oh man, happy to be here. Excited, pumped. What do you hope you bring to the franchise? Uh, man, just uh, just a, a guy that's willing to you know make plays on both ends. Uh, you know, come in with a defensive mindset, making plays, uh, getting after it, getting after it, being a, a pesky, versatile defender and wing and whatever my team needs me to be. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm a utility guy, a uh, blue collar guy. Whatever my team needs me to do, I'm real versatile. So that's what helps me. I'm gonna just bring and use my versatility to help. Uh, contribute to this team. Defense is something you know a bit about. Obviously, defensive player of the year last year. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Uh, in the NBL, my first year, won Defense Player of the Year, and then going to the BBL last year in Germany, uh, winning the Defense Player of the Year. Just kind of showing, uh, you know, everywhere I go that that's that's you know I'm gonna wear that hat. I'm gonna be that guy, uh, whatever team I'm on. But I mean, that's really just my mindset. Just uh, you know, I want to make plays, and I feel like my way of getting into the game and making an impl uh, you know, my uh, imprint impact on the game, excuse me, is uh, defense. Whether that be getting steals, um, getting blocks, uh, rebounds, and uh, just carving, you know, carving out space, uh, you know, helping my teammates out and getting in the gaps and stuff like that. So, yeah, yes, sir. Man, just the opportunity itself. Uh, just the potential, you know, once my agent kind of presented it to me and then, you know, I talked to Coach and uh, Chris and everybody, it just, uh, it made sense. It sounded good. And, um, you know, this is a historic club. You know, you, you think about everything Sydney has done and uh, just an amazing city, you know, just an amazing place to be. So it just made sense. It sounded good. And, uh, you know, I want to be a part of something. I want to be a part of something special. And, you know, they just, they're coming off a championship run. I want to win a championship. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the club, they want to win back to back. So, you know, it just sounded good. And uh, it, it, it all in all was just a great fit for me. What specifically did you miss about Australia and the NBL? <laughs> Man, <laughs> the wee fix. Uh, Veggie might not. Nah, um, let's see, what I miss about Australia, man, just uh, it was just the, the, just the whole vibe, the landscape, everything, just being around, um, you know, it, it's just the people, man. It was just so beautiful, the league, everything, um, you know, the whole environment just uh, itself, just, man, all these cities you get to travel and be around. And, you know, I met some great people my first time around. And uh, now, I'm, you know, this time around in the beautiful city, Sydney, um, back in New South Wales, so man, just coming back all in all, just it, it, it was just it just sounded right, felt right. And yeah, coming back to the rival club of the club. <laughs> yes. Time, are you sort of expecting uh -huh. Argy Bargy when you come up against them? Absolutely, absolutely, man. You know, they they know it's all love. It's all part of the competitive uh, nature uh, for me, as far as uh, just you know that type of stuff, being chippy and whatever. Um, but yeah, just coming to the rival club, um, Sydney, man. Like I said, it's a beautiful city. Um, it's a historic club. Um, and I just want to be a part of something special, and I feel like you know this is this is where the place to be. Do you guys still ask the Hawks who were there in your time, Tyler and, and Bowling and stuff? Yeah, to touch with those guys? absolutely, man, absolutely. Uh, it's funny, just throughout the year we were staying in contact. I'm watching the games. I'm watching Sam and Justinian get on uh, Gus and uh, Xavier with the first game of the year, whatever it was, when they got in a fight. So just chopping it up with them, you know, still uh, having some close connections with everybody throughout the league. Even even me and Xavier kept uh, in close touch throughout the year. So uh, when this opportunity presented itself, you know, I think about playing with a guy like him. Um, you know, I think of activity and stuff like that. But just, yeah, I have a relationship throughout, that, throughout this league. Was there any sort of going back to the Hawks when you kind of played that move back to the Man, I'll tell you what, they were about 40 minutes too late. <laughs> Let's just say that to even have some type of, you know, chance or anything as far as whatever, something working out, working out something. But uh, <clears throat> all in all, this is where I want to be. I'm glad everything worked out the way it was supposed to. And uh, like I said, I'm on the better side of New South Wales. So they, they put the call in after you signed with Sydney then? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They were a little too late. But um, it's, like I said, this is where I want to be. This is all where I want to be. I'm, I'm, I'm here for a reason. And uh, it just sounds good, feels good. And I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Big old city this month. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, yes, I live right over here, probably two minutes that way, or maybe that, I'm not exactly sure as far as the geography goes of it. But uh, yeah, I'm somewhat familiar with Sydney a little bit. Uh, let's see, I shop out here, I go eat out here, my hairstylist, my, you know, my barber, he's out here. So uh, just, uh, just being around here in Sydney and uh, now that I get to really, you know, settle down and soak everything in and get the full experience of Australia because the first time I was here, quarantine, it was different protocols and stuff like that, you know. So uh, just being here and then, um, like I said, getting that full Aussie experience. What do you think will be your biggest challenge? Hmm, biggest challenge. Uh, who or what? Or anything. Either? Um, I mean, I like to think that 
I, I could be, you know, in, in my way sometimes, uh, you know, I, I feel like as long as I just put my best foot forward, compete, and, uh, you know, just go out there, play hard, and, you know, really don't second guess, don't think, and just have fun. You know, that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, you don't want to get in your own way. Um, so I just want to just develop, get better, uh, mature, grow as a man, player, everything, all shapes and form, and coming here in Sydney. Um, but uh, as far as, like, issues and over, yeah, I'm just, none, none of that stuff. Just, uh, just really focus on myself and letting everything else follow. Absolutely, absolutely. My first two games as a professional were against him. Um, it was crazy, yeah. So uh, even uh, when I was up with the Bulls for uh, preseason, we had a game versus the Bucks. The first game, I actually got in there and got in the mix and, uh, you know, playing uh, against the Bucks, that was dope. And then uh, playing against Coach, uh, man, it was special. Uh, you know, his style of play, um, you know, him as a coach. Uh, I, I kind of remember some things, uh, you know, uh, going back and forth, just competing and just hearing him, how he talks to his guys and the confidence he gives. Uh, you know, his players and the, the, the freedom and everything, uh, you know, just the, the, the way to play and everything. So his style, you know, just playing against him throughout the G League and seeing him from afar last year as far as watching the NBL, being a fan of the league and um, watching them win the championship and them playing against uh, Illawar in the grand finals and stuff like that. So, yeah, just watching coach and playing against him too was fun. And now I'm here playing for him is uh, even better. So can't wait. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. No, it's definitely full circle, man. It's definitely full circle. Just uh, everything, man. This basketball journey, uh, it, it shows you a lot. Um, builds character. Um, man, it's just so much within this that you learn about yourself and others and uh, just people, man. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm amazed and loved everywhere it's taken, taken me um, and the people I've met. And so, yeah, pretty full circle moment for sure. Um, and then coming back to this league and everything, man, it's just uh, I'm all in all excited. Just can't wait to get started. Thank you, guys. Tim, can you give us the official pronunciation? Yeah. So it's uh, pronounced Timothy Soares. A little bit of Brazilian twist to it, Portuguese to it, yeah. Tim, you, you probably hear all the time people announce it saying Soares. Do you get do you get that? No, it's, I'm used to it. You know, uh, half of my family is, uh, is American, so it's it's fine. It's, it's OK with me. <laughs> um, tell me about the decision to sign with Sydney. Uh, Sydney. Uh, well, I'm just excited, first of all, thankful for the club and everybody that made that decision to uh, hire me, very thankful. Um, I think for me it was just a special moment uh, throughout my career I've been able to improve and get to another level and I think uh, the NBL is the closest thing we have to the NBA so I'm really excited to be here uh, making that step forward. You know, I definitely think it's a jump up for me so I'm excited to be here and prove myself and uh, be a part of this uh, special club, Sydney, especially with them winning last year. Um, but yeah, uh, talking to the coaches and uh, my agent and I, it was, it was a great decision for me. A lot of people with a lot of, uh, uh, have, are very smart about basketball around here, and uh, that's going to help me a lot um, to improve as well and grow as a player. So that was one of the main things that led to making the decision to come here was just all the people that are going to be able to help me grow. and. And hopefully I can help them win another ch championship as well. Yeah, what about on court? What do you hope to bring? Uh, well, I just want to be an energy guy. Uh, I want to learn a little bit of defense from Justin, for sure. Uh, but uh, I want to be able to stretch the floor and also be able to uh, help the team whichever way they need. Uh, I think the coach's style of play is, uh, fits, fits me very well. Uh, be able to run the court and shoot the ball from the three. So I'm excited to do that. Tim, um just coming off your first summer league, I think, with the Bucks. What did you learn yeah. from, from that experience? Uh, well, actually, Chase being from, you know, the uh, the Bucks, uh, I definitely heard a lot of stuff that I heard this morning when we practiced. Uh, being there, it was great. Uh, getting my foot in the door in the NBA. Uh, it was a great atmosphere. A uh, really good club to be a part of. Thankful for that. Um, but it was just, you know, different uh, play from what I've been used to in Europe. Uh, so for me, it was just adjusting to that more uh, NBA-like basketball, which I think will definitely translate to the NBL. And there sure. are a few guys with you at the Summer League for the Bucks who had played the NBL before, Dusty Hannes, you've ever signed. Yes. Think, did they give you any sort of pointers about the NBA? Uh, I, talked to, I talked to Dusty a little bit. Um, at the time, we were still, we didn't know for sure if the NBL or I was going to be coming to Sydney, so I should have asked more questions. But uh, no, uh, he was saying that how he loved being out here and playing in Australia, obviously. 
Uh, and then he told me about the weather and everything. And being from Brazil, I'm excited to be a part of the, the Australian weather and stuff. So, you yeah. touched on it a little bit there, but was there anyone specific at the box that sort of helped sort of convince you that playing under Chase would be a good career? Um, well, Chase has a great reputation there. So uh, once I told a couple of the people there that were asking me, they told me that uh, it was a great decision. He was a guy that really knew what he was doing. So that kind of really like settled my, you know, like settled my decision. And I was like, yeah, I made a really good decision. So I'm very excited towards that. Yeah. And your mom played a bit of basketball out in Australia, I think. Uh, she she was out here. She did a couple tours out out here, I believe, okay. with her college team. She came and played a couple of teams. It was a long time ago, so I'm not. I'm not sure if she remembers. <laughs> Did she give you any pointers about playing out in Australia or just Australia generally? No, she just says you got to see some kangaroos. That's it's uh it's uh, the the cool thing to do here. So. Okay, exciting. Uh, excited to make the step up, definitely. Uh, play with some really good players. Um, excited to be a part of a club that really knows how to win and uh, championship atmosphere. Um, challenges is that I just want to be able to improve. So the challenge this year is to get better in rebounding, defense, uh, making shots, whatever I can do. So I think that's the biggest challenge for me is just to be able to make sure I can play at a high level every single game and make sure I'm an Im impactful player on both ends of the court. So.